Now that's sorry for the little pause. I was just fixing this right there. Welcome to episode two of Bad Luck Theater. Now, let's dive right back into this. Right after the first time I played it, which the other episode is uploading right now as we play. Find the gems to whisk you away from this horrible place. So, anyone like Jack? Jack's an awesome YouTuber. Go subscribe to him. Go subscribe to Mark. Be careful. Oh, Mark, you lie. Poop yourself and die. Poop myself and die.
Not missing anything. <laughs> By the way, this is a new game that I just bought today. So reliability is my problem. Because you never know what I am recording. So I never record on Monday. Oh, 
I got an that A plus is so close I can taste it and it tastes good. Yeah, it tastes good. I got the really cat ball. Cadbury balls. We turn all raw balls to cake. Cats are watching me! The cats are watching me! They are watching! Da. Get, get, it's this. really simple. Do this as fast as possible without dying or messing up.
Fuck, what, fuck? Okay, good. What a beautiful gemstone! situation but boy this place is quite the enigma wouldn't you say i would and you know a little warning would have been nice you know before they threw us head first into this gladiatorial prisony place with its perilous medley of twisted stage productions that shred the silky fabric which weaves together the fragile blanket of sanity that keeps us sane but you know whatever either way it's safe to say we're in quite a pickle jar here we gotta rescue our friends and get back to mr boat i mean they do the same for you and adventuring just wouldn't be the same without, I don't know, this guy. Best chef in all the land. Food so stupid delicious one taste would blow your face through the back of your head. Like bang, splat, 
Bat. And who could forget this quirky fellow? You know, he owns a bat farm back home, and his lifelong dream is to breed a terrifying race of super bats. None of which makes any sense, of course, because he's absolutely terrified of bats. And this lovely lass always tells the best bedtime stories, hands down. Plus, she always smells like chocolate, so that's good. And then there's this guy, and this handsome fellow, and that thing. All your best friends imprisoned, and they don't like it very much because it's bad and horrible. And then there's Hattie, the best friend of all. Why did he stab us in the back and twist the blade? I mean, just this morning, he gave everybody flowers and presents, and now he goes out of his way to hurt our feelings? Oh, I think not. You can't fool me. Hattie would never betray us. B betray us. Never! Something fishy is going on here, and I think I don't like it right now at all. It must have something to do with that scary, albeit fashionable hat. Sure looks evil. I mean, it's glowing red and stuff. Glowy red stuff is always bad. Everybody knows that. So what dangerous treats lie in store as we continue to unravel this treacherous sweater? I don't know. But use caution as you continue your gallant endeavor. Don't, don't like, fail and die and stuff, because it's all up to you now. What? Why did, why did it do that? That was, that was scary. Okay, guys, I'll leave it at this because we just finished a chapter. Do you know how excited that is? You don't. I probably think you don't. Well, I'll see you in the next battling block game or episode. Bye!